Let's go get okay. it. Sweet. So let's knock this out. Um, how did he get into wrestling as a fan or performer in the first place? All right. So since I was five years old, wrestling is what I wanted to wanted to pursue. What did I want? I wanted to do when I was growing up as a kid and just kind of uh, started chasing my dream. So 2000, year 2000, I think I graduated high school and um, decided to just pursue it. Started training in my hometown of uh, Hickory, North Carolina, and just chasing after this dream, man. Like, you know, that's what I grew up wanting to do. So I, I knew since I was five years old, there's nothing else that I really um, consumed my time with other than watching professional wrestling. So I just jumped on it and, and just gave it my all. Um, what did you enjoy about it as you got older? I think the, uh, the aspect of um, as a fan, what I enjoyed about it, I think is the same as what I enjoy as a performer. And that's just the crowds, like the live crowds. So going to shows with my dad when I was a kid and then, you know, my dad coming to shows when I re started wrestling, just being able to um, just entertain people, man, you know, and seeing how people react. You got people that come to wrestling shows who have had a bad day or a bad week or whatever, and they come to these wrestling shows just to enjoy life and get away from their normal, you know, normal day. And uh, that's really what I enjoy most, is just seeing people smile, seeing people yell, you know, whatever emotions they show. That's really what. Yeah, just what get I'm into it. Yeah, for real. Um, what made you want to take the next step and become a professional wrestler? I think, well, like I mentioned, just since I was five, um, it's one of those things where I had to realize I had to give it my all. So taking that next step was a big venture. I mean, it's, I moved from North Carolina to Georgia in 2007 to pursue, um, you know, furthering my career. So I took a big jump in that. I had to find a new job. I had to find a place to live. You know, I kind of uprooted everything I knew and just pursued this, but um, just realizing, man, that, and I, like I tell everybody who talks to me about wrestling, it's a matter of uh, if you want something, you'll work hard and go after it. Like you have to sacrifice things and it doesn't always mean that you're going to going to, uh, you know, achieve being a pro football player or a pro baseball player or whatever, but you can always hang your hat and say, Hey, at least I tried. And that's something I told myself, you know, my dad always said, Hey, go for it. If something you want to do, go for it. Cause when you're, 60 and 70 and an old man you're going to wish him you would have even if you didn't make it to wwe um yeah what what genres of wrestling are you interested in whether it's wrestling or watching or performing oh uh, so uh, you say what John, like what what time yeah yeah, yeah 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 so yeah okay i think uh for me the 90s were the big thing for me like growing up as a kid the uh, wcw and the wwe or, you know, WWF at the time, the Monday Night Wars. So guys like Steve Austin and, and the NWO and all these guys going head to head on Monday nights. It's always been my favorite times. And and now I, I enjoy a lot of the new stuff. I enjoy watching like Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, a lot of the, you know, AJ Styles, Randy Orton. But also I still get into a lot of 80s wrestling. So, you know, I'm a big fan of the old NWA stuff with Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, uh, Nikita Koloff, who's a good friend of mine. And just, you know, I mean, I'm kind of all over the place with wrestling, man. I can watch 70s. I can watch 90s. I can watch early 2000s. I really don't have a favorite. I just kind of, you know, whatever I'm, I'm diving into at the time. What influenced your style as a wrestler? I think me, because I just, you know, I'm 240 pounds, so I can't do a bunch of high-flying stuff. Right. Although I respect that. I do. I respect it. But what influenced me, I think, was, I guess, the guys I grew up watching, like Macho Man and Hogan. Steve Austin, all these just larger than life characters that kind of uh, captivated me as a child. So it's really what I think drove me to kind of be more of a, you know, aggressive kind of brawler style that, that they would say that Jackson Riker is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did, did you ever fall out of love with professional wrestling? If so, why? No, I have not. No, ever since, you know, there's a different passion that I had when I was a child. Um, opposed to you know it's my job now but you still I think you still have to love what you do for a living or it's just you know it's not fun so for me it's still fun it's still fun to go out in front of crowds it's still fun to wrestle different guys you know like um, I was in Houston Texas last night so getting a chance just to be in front of a different crowd man and, and you gotta love what you do because then if not it just gets boring and it's not worth it you know but no even at 39 years old um, you know, some 20, 30 years later, I still love what I do. 
Mm-hmm. You got to make it to where it isn't a part of the grind, I guess. Right. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you got to enjoy what you do, man. Because if you if you don't, then it's then it's just a job, and it's not you know it's not it's fun. not fun anymore. No, you got to love what you do. Mm-hmm. Especially this type of stuff. Yeah, for um, sure. Entertaining. Yeah. Um. What? Who are your favorite wrestlers, past or present, and why? All right. So past, and uh, I would definitely have named a few: Hulk Hogan, um, Sting. I grew up on. Macho Man and Bret Hart are, are, you know, four guys I can name right off the bat. There's many, many more, but uh, those mm-hmm. are ones that I can, I still watch a lot of. Shawn Michaels, you know, those guys. Um, but in present, I, man, I always enjoy watching like Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, uh, just because they're just, just big, larger than life guys, man, that look like they can fight because they can, you know. And, yeah. um, you know, you're always just getting this aggressive brawl kind of, wrestling match uh, obviously aj styles i've been good buddies with for a number of years now you know he just never slows down he gets better as he gets older we always told him and um randy orton i still enjoy watching it's really cool to see you know ray mysterio out there again these guys that i grew up watching as a kid and some of the girls i enjoy like you know uh, charlotte flair and, and uh, bianca who's is, is just amazing at what she does i mean man i can sit here and name the whole roster probably from wwe i got buddies that <laughs> You know, buddies in, in different promotions too. I still enjoy watching. So there's mm-hmm. a lot of them. Um, how do you describe the feeling of watching and wrestling? Um, well, like watching a wrestling match and being in a wrestling match. Are they any different? Like- no, for me, it's it's storytelling. You know, you got two good guys, uh, two good performers out there—a good guy and a bad guy—who are going at it. And they're telling a good story. It's, for me, it's the same being in the ring. It's, you know, me being a good guy and whoever I'm wrestling being the bad guy. And it's just going out there and trying to uh, get the audience's attention and pull emotion out of them. So I always enjoy when I watch, obviously, it's a little different because I don't have to worry about what's going on in the ring if I'm wrestling. But if I'm watching, it's like I'm watching a good movie. You know what I mean? I get into <laughs> it. and it, But, you know, if I'm in the ring performing, then I'll try and keep that mindset as well. That Like, yeah, I'm putting on a, a live action movie here that these people are paying to see and they love. Mm-hmm. Um, how has your character evolved through the years from TNA to the WWE? Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's just uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, a little bit of what I did in TNA is Gunner. It was more military-based stuff. Um, I've had a chance to kind of un- unleash some different, like, uh, I guess, character traits going into WWE and doing some different stuff. And uh, it's been fun to watch me progress a little bit. I think I've got a little better as I've gotten older. I guess I can say that. But uh, <laughs> just, uh, you know, I've had to change my style a little bit because the older I've gotten, I've had a couple injuries here and there. Um, but progression, really, man, I think it's just getting better um, as a performer and learning how to pull the emotions out of the fans. The Hang on. Do you prefer um, tag work compared to single stuff? Or do you just... I like both. Um, I've always been a fan of tag team wrestling. Um, you know, when Elias and I were tag teaming, it was a lot of fun. We got to try some different things. So I can't really say what I prefer best. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like both of them about equally. That's all my questions. It's just... Cool, brother. We just got them recorded. Thank, um, thank you for your time. Yeah, dude, absolutely, Gavin. I appreciate you, man. Let me know how it turns out when you when you submit it and all that stuff. Of course. Thank all you right, buddy. Much.